everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to do some pool nails or water nails and I've wanted to do these ever since they were really um they were really popular last year and I did do a little short of them but it didn't turn out the way I wanted so I really wanted to like do them properly like on my nails um, and I tried a few methods but as with everything you find your own way that works um, so this is the way that I found that worked for me um, so first of all because there's nothing on my nails they need prepping so I'm just pushing the cuticles back first and then I'm using the other end of the cuticle pusher, the scraper, to scrape any dead skin off because you don't want that leaving on your nails because that'll make them lift. And we're going to be putting some um, full cover tips on today to do this set. So after I've got all the dead skin off, I'm giving them a buff so that there's no shine because your nails being shiny will also make them lift. And also, yeah, we're using gel. So anything that gel goes on to needs um, a matte surface, not a shiny surface. So I do give them a brush and then I use some alcohol and then I give them another brush so that they're all nice and clean and then I do wipe them with a pad after so there's no dust left on. And then I'm using Balm Pretty's Dehydrator and then I'm using the Non-Acid Primer. So I put quite a bit of the dehydrator on but when you're using the primer you only really need sort of three strips. Um, on your nail because it will naturally spread out so you don't want to get it too close to your skin else it will go on your skin and you don't really want that it could cause irritation and then I'm using a rubber base coat and I wanted a coloured one because the nail beds of these nails are going to be like um, a nude colour well like a pinky nude so I'm just putting a thin coat on that on all of the nails and then I will cure that for 30 seconds and that's just so that we've got a base for our other gel to stick to because I'm going to be using full cover tips and I'm going to be using the, I think it's six in one nail glue from Born Pretty. So these are the tips that I'm using. And this is what the box looks like. So they are like coffin shape, but these are the flattest um, full cover tips that I've got. And the reason I wanted the flattest ones was because I am going to be um, putting some gel on the nail bed area and I don't want the nails to be too bulky when they're finished. So I did the pinky off camera and then I'm doing the ring finger and I just put a small amount of the gel in at the cuticle area and then I press it down at a 45 degree angle and then let the gel spread out towards the rest of the nail bed as I'm pressing the full cover tip down. So when I'm happy with that and the nails on straight and everything, I then put it in the little lamp and that's just to flash cure it for about 10 seconds. But then when they're all on, they will get a full cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then this is what they look like when they're all on. Um, and I've just been filing them. I do like to file them. I like to go around the cuticle area and the side walls um, and the tip and just make sure that there are no rough bits and make sure that there's no bits um, sticking out because with these full cover tips, um, they're not going to fit you absolutely perfectly and there will be little bits where maybe you have a gap or maybe you've got a little bit of the tip coming out onto your skin and you want to make sure that you file that off. Um, ideally, you should file it um, into the right shape before you apply them, but there's always going to be a little bit that, that needs just getting rid of. Otherwise, that's another thing that can cause them to lift off or you could get product on, underneath there and then it ends up sticking up and looks bulky. So after that, I do give them another clean and make sure there's none of that dust anywhere. And then I go back in with the same rubber base coat, the coloured one that I used before. And I'm just putting that on the nail beds of each of these tips. So it's not a thick coat, it's just a thin coat. And I'm scrubbing this into that surface. And that's just going to help the other gel that I put over the top to stick to it. So when I've put that on all of the nails, that does get cured in the lamp for, I think I just put it in for 30 seconds because then I'm going in with a different gel. So I'm using this one. This is actually a gel polish and it's a milky white one. So I'm going to put two coats of this on and that's just going on the tip and I'm putting it a little bit higher up than the tip. 
So making sure that that's all covered and there aren't any clear bits. And then I'm turning the brush upside down when there's no product on it. And I'm just brushing that up, sort of feathering it up into that base coat colour that we've just, um, that nail bed colour that we've just put on. And then that gets cured for 30 seconds. And then I go in and I put another coat of that milky white on. So exactly the same as I've done before. Because we just want this tip to be a little bit whiter. But I still did want it to be, um, you know, still look like a milky white and not a, not a really bright white. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. So after that I'm using some Blooming Gel and I haven't got one from Bon Pretty so I'm using Madame Glam's. I'm also using 06 which is one of the jelly colours. So into that wet Blooming Gel, yeah you don't cure that, you leave that wet and into that Blooming Gel I'm putting dots of this blue colour. And I'm just letting that bloom a little bit, letting it spread. If you look towards the middle of the nail, it's spread a lot more there than it has at the tip of the nail. So when I'm happy with how it's um, spread out, I do cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. So then I repeat that for all the other nails. So as usual, I will put links to all the products that I've used in the description box so that if you want to recreate this look with the same colours, then you can do. So this is the method that I found worked for me. Some people use a blue jelly colour and they paint that on first and then they use the blooming gel and they add um, they add the white into it. But I tried that and I, I couldn't get it to work. It didn't look right or it didn't look the way that I wanted it to. So that's why I've gone with this, this method instead. Um, and I found that the closer you put the dots to each other, the better it looks. If you put them too spread out, um, it, it blurs the whole thing instead of it looking like pool nails it, it does bloom a little bit too much and it spreads out too much and looks blurry instead So this is how they look when they've all been cured. And then we're just going to use this extension gel. So this is EN04. It's a lovely pink colour. And I'm just going to put this on the nail bed area. Now I'm not building structure here because we've already got those full cover tips on. So I'm only putting a little bit on. So I'm brushing it on. I'm not... Um, I'm not floating it from side to side, I'm just brushing it because I only want a thin coverage. And then where it meets the blue gel polish, I'm just feathering it towards that and taking it a little bit over just to make it a little bit more blended. So off camera, I did do another coat of this gel exactly the same, just putting a small amount on and brushing it over. And this just made it blend a bit better without making the nail bed too, too bulky. So when I've done this, they get cured for 60 seconds. And then this is how they look and I'm happy with that but the nail bed area now is higher up than the tip so and there's a little dip in the middle so I'm just going to use the clear gel and I'm just going to go over the tip area and where it meets up with that nail bed colour. So you don't need a lot it's literally just to make it so that the nail shape is the right shape and you've not got lumps and bumps and, and like dips everywhere. So I brush it on 
and then I look at the side to see how the shape is and then off camera I do put the nail upside down for a few seconds just to make the gel um, flow exactly where I want it to and then I will cure it for 60 seconds. So this is what they look like when I've given them a bit of a file and a buff and they really didn't need much filing. It was just to smooth out sort of that transition and the cuticle area. So then I've left the nails matte and I'm going to do a little bit of nail art now. So the first thing that I'm using is Madame Glam's gel paint and I'm using the yellow and I'm going to do a really nice yellow bikini. So I'm starting off just with little straight lines and then I draw a line upwards just to where I want the triangles of the bikini to go up to. And then I form that into a triangle, colour the triangle in and then just sort of round the edges off a little bit. And then I just do some little straps. I did do a bow at the top of the straps, but um, as I was trying to paint this, I was concentrating and I wasn't really watching what was being filmed. And I'd, and my hand had gone, um, you know, down and you could hardly see what I was doing. So I just cut that bit out. So then I'm doing some nice bikini bottoms and they are yellow as well to match the set. And then I'm using the orange gel paint and I'm putting orange polka dots all over the bikini. So that's the bikini done. So now I'm going in with the black gel paint and this um, ice jelly colour, this pink colour, and I'm doing like a cocktail glass. It's supposed to be me. So it's me sitting by the pool in my yellow and orange bikini with a cocktail at the poolside. Now that's not going to happen this year in real life but we can all dream can't we so I've put it on my nails instead. <laughs> so I'm putting some bling on these nails and I'm using some opal stones and some AB crystals and then I'm using some silver caviar beads in between. So I'm just fiddling around with them putting them all where I want them to go. And there is some rhinestone glue on there, but I just didn't film me putting it on. And then when I'm happy with them, I will cure that for 30 seconds and then it's time to top coat. So I did do the pinky off camera as well. So I'm using Born Pretty Super Top Coat and this is really shiny top coat and it lasts for ages. So I've chose this one. So I'm just being a bit careful around those stones because you don't want to put top coat over your stones because it will dull the shine. So I'm just going around them and then I'm putting the top coat over the rest of the nails and it's really bringing out that, um, you know, that water effect. So I was really pleased with the way these turned out. I would definitely be happy sat at a pool wearing these. In fact, I'd be happy sitting at a pool on holiday, no matter what nails I had on. Because <laughs> this year just hasn't been the summer that we wanted. But at least I can have summer on my nails. So that is them all top coated and this is what they look like when they're all finished and I've put cuticle oil on and stuff. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Would you wear these? I think they're really cute and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So yeah, like I said, everything, links to everything will be in the description box as usual. And I do have discount codes for Madam Glam and Born Pretty. So I'll leave those in the description box as well. But that's it for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.